So this uh, video is all about the uh, Kuhoot quiz I put together on fractions. So do make sure you've had a go at the quiz before you uh, watch this video. Uh, the links, the links below. So eleven questions to work our way through, starting with this one. Convert two and three quarters into a top heavy fraction. So we're dealing with quarters. So the denominator is going to be four. And then how many holes, uh, how many quarters do we get out of these two holes? Well, there's obviously four quarters per hole, and we've got two holes, so two fours are eight. So we've got eight quarters uh, in, in included in these two holes, plus another three, so that's eight, nine, ten, eleven quarters. So our answer is going to be green. The quick way to do these, of course, is just to say two fours are eight, add on the three, that's eleven, so 11 over 4. And so similarly, we're going to convert 5 and 2 thirds into a top heavy fraction. So 5 in thirds is 15 thirds. 5 threes are 15. So we've got 15 thirds included in these 5 holes plus the other 2. So that's going to be 17 thirds. And again, quick way, 5 threes to 15, add the 2, that's 17 thirds, so that's gold. Now, going the other way, convert 17 over 5 into a mixed number. Well, we can get 3 holes out of this, because 3 fives are 15. So that's 3 holes, using up 15 parts, 2 bits left over. So that's a three and two fifths, which is going to be blue. Now similarly, well, doing our three times table, four threes are twelve. Well, that's too many. Three threes are nine, so we can get three holes out of this using up nine parts. Two left over, so that's three and two thirds. So that's our gold answer. Excuse me. So, which of the following is not an equivalent fraction to two four two four sixths? So, two thirds is we're just halving top and bottom. Eight twelves is we're doubling top and bottom. Uh, Twelve eighteenths. What are we doing? Three. No, that is because that's timesing top and bottom by three. Then eight tenths isn't. No, eight tenths isn't. Because we're doubling on the top, but we're not doubling on the bottom. So our answer is green. So what is the common denominator here? So what is the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4? So um, think of, uh, So what's the smallest number that um, both go into um, is in the 3 times table and the 4 times table? Well, that's 12. So 12 is the lowest common uh, de lowest common multiple, which is the common denominator. Uh, and, and obviously, one way to always work out what a common denominator is, is to just times the two bottom numbers together, 3 fours are 12. Often this will be the lowest common denominator, but it doesn't really matter if it isn't the lowest one. You just have to do a bit more simplifying later on. So in short, 3 fours are 12, so our answer is green. So, once we've got the common denominator, we're now going to have to try and work this out. So, two-thirds, turning it into something over 12. Well, three-fours are 12, so we're going to be multiplying top and bottom by 4. So, that's going to give us eight-twelfths for this first fraction. With the second fraction, we're multiplying the bottom, the denominator, by 3 to get 12. So, we've got to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. Three threes are 9. So we need to have 8 plus 9 over 12, which is our blue answer. Now, once we've got them converted into equivalent fractions, both over 12, when we're adding, we just simply add the two numerators. 8 and 9 is 17. But be very careful, do not add the denominators. Okay, so we have 17 
over 12, so the red answer is going to be right. Think about it, if you had a third of pizza, then another third of a pizza, you've had two thirds of a pizza. The denominator does not change, so that's our red answer. So, once we've got 17 over 12, convert that into a top heavy, sorry, into a mixed number. We can only get one hole out of this using it 12 parts, five left over, so one and five twelfths, which is green. Question 10. Well, when we are multiplying, this is the easy one. It's simply top times top bottom times bottom, so that's 6 over 15, uh, which is our golden answer. Obviously this could be simplified, we could have uh, divided top and bottom by 3, but just the starting point, 2 3's are 6, 3 5's are 15, 6 over 15. Now, how do we divide fractions? Well, just have to remember the process. The first fraction stays the same. You change it from a division to a multiplication, but you flip the second one over. So that's going to become 5 over 3. So 2 thirds multiplied by 5 over 3. So that's the golden answer. And that's it.